We are now going to be learning about Lewis dot structures. Okay. So, anyway. Uh, the warm-up asked about what methane is, which is CH4. That's the structure. Now, we're going to draw the Lewis structure for that. There are five steps to follow. Again, I really hope that, like, down the road, you don't need to reference this chart. That's my hope. Um, now, to do this, first, uh, it says step one, add up the number of valence electrons that should be included in the Lewis structure. That's relatively simple. Uh, you got to think back to, you know, when we were talking about Lewis dot diagrams and valence number. So how many valence electrons does carbon have? It's got four. So four plus how many does each hydrogen have? You follow, remember how this little 1a indicates the valence? So hydrogen has one. How many hydrogens do we have? You got four. So one times four. So what's our total valence? Eight. Now methane's the simplest Lewis dot structure that exists, basically. I can't think of an easier one to do. That's why we're starting out with it. Now, uh, to go through this, all you've got to do is step two, draw the skeleton structure. Now, what the skeleton structure means is simply structure the atom in such a way that everything is bonded together uh, with something in the middle. And this one, there's no exact perfect way of me saying to do this every time. It's just you have to look at it and look at the atom and look at the molecule and say, which one do you think is probably in the middle here? You think it's C, right? Because, well, there's one of those. There's four hydrogens. So you just put C in the middle. Now, you draw a skeleton structure. The way this will work, you draw little lines like that. And each line indicates that there is a covalent bond between carbon and hydrogen. Now, if you remember correctly, a covalent bond is a sharing of electrons. So if you want me to, to show you like this, imagine you have two dots. So you have two dots between each carbon and hydrogen. Now, remember how before I told you that since this is covalently bonded and those are shared, uh, like this hydrogen right here, how many electrons does it have in its valence shell then? What do you think? One, two, three, four, five, two, right? It's okay to say stuff. You can ask questions, it's okay. Yeah, it's got two. What about this one? Two. This one? This one? Okay, what about carbon? You sure? Zero. You can count to eight? Good. So, here's the, now this is why I wanted to show you this, why I asked that. I know the way it looks like this dot is on the H, this dot's on the C. That's not the case. Pretend, if you want to draw it another way, remember how we draw the Lewis structure like this. This and this are the exact same thing, okay? There's no difference there. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so the way this works, you've got eight electrons. Now, if you want to actually look at at step three, it says add more electrons. We're not doing that right now because first thing, let's count up all the electrons that we use in our structure for methane. I put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? How many electrons did I initially have? Eight. So eight minus eight, how many are left over? Zero. Zero. So in this case, that's it. That's the structure. That's the answer to your warm-up, by the way. Now the reason this structure is acceptable, carbon, you count it up, it has eight valence electrons shared around it. So it's got two, four, six, eight. Hydrogen, if you look at your notes from just a second ago, hydrogen is the only molecule or the only atom that is okay with having two electrons in its valence structure. In this case, each hydrogen has two. So they're all happy. So you're done. This is the structure for methane. Very simple. <coughs> Questions? What? Um, so just take A and divide it by two? No, there's no dividing by two. I mean, I mean, but like, to draw the... Yeah, each bond is two electrons. Always. All right? Can it be more? Because I put in one, two, three, four bonds. Each bond contains two electrons. Four times two, eight. 
Yeah. Well, in this case, yes. In other cases, it won't be that way. Well, we're going to do a bunch more molecules. This is the simplest one ever. Sometimes it helps to start with a more complicated one, so we'll do that next.